Greetings to all of you. My dear sisters and brothers, and my dear friends, a warm welcome to all of you from your pastor, Yari. Growing in grace for today. We're also going to do two devotions for this day. And we're going to start with When God Laughs. The one enthroned in heaven laughs. The Lord scoffs at them. Psalm 2, verse 4. On any given day, you can turn on the news and see the world is in a mess. Psalm 2 begins with nations conspiring and the people plotting in vain. The kings are taking a stand and the rulers have another submit. Sound familiar? I do think so. The difference is in Psalm 2, we are told that these people are in open rebellion against the restrictions of God's anointed. Although not as obvious today. Rebellion against God's law is the rotten core of the mess we find ourselves in. You don't have to be a theologian or a Rhodes scholar to figure out the world is on fire. All the water of the world's wisdom cannot put it out. Fallen humanity has taken every step to distance itself from God. Right? What is God's reaction when wicked nations plot to overthrow his anointed? And you know that the people of God who truly are disciples of God in following Christ. The church has one body and the head is Christ. We are his anointed. Does God panic? Does he convene Congress and ask for their opinion? Does he call a submit of the world's leaders to ask how he has offended them? No. He sits in the heavens, calm and unthreatened. He doesn't even bother to get off his throne. He just laughs. I'm very serious about this. Psalm 37 verse 13 says, But the Lord laughs at the wicked, for he knows their day is coming. And Psalm 59 says, verse 8, declares, But you laugh at them, Lord, you scoff at all those nations. Do we have to start laughing about the whole things that we see around this globe? No, of course not. But this is a spiritual understanding how God is dealing with all this. And I hope that you are very aware what kind of mess we are in. And every country has its own problems, according to governments, according jobs, whatever. It's, it's how we deal with all this. His laughter is not cruel or heartless. The same God who mocks humankind's rebellion and defiance is also compassionate toward us in our lost condition. He takes no pleasure in the death of the wicked. See Ezekiel 33 verse 11. He is righteous in judgment, but also generous in compassion. What does God's laughter mean for us? It is the assurance that Christ will ultimately triumph over evil. 
Defiance and rebellion against him is useless. The message is clear instead of opposing his son. We should embrace and submit to him. David gives practical wisdom at the close of this psalm. It is not just for the leaders of the world, but for all humankind. Blessed are all who take refuge in him. Psalm 2, verse 12. Pray with me. Father, I choose not to focus on the darkness around me, but the light of your love within me. Keep my feet from stumbling and my heart from fear. Amen. My dear Christians, God is really serious about your life. And as you heard, his laughing is not ridiculous. He is not making a fool out of ourselves. But he appoints to us what needs to be done. We need to focus on Christ. Our eyes need to be focused on Christ alone. And this is the only way we have to live our life. If you pray for your church, for certain kind of situations, if you pray for the world, do you really are serious? Because God names you very serious. Why? Because he loves you. Why did you think that he gave his only son? Be encouraged by these words that God is taking it very serious by humankind. So every prayer you pray Be serious about it. Just not babbling. I am not judgmental. I just want to encourage you how important it is to pray. To give feed to your prayers. To do something for this globe. Because really, this world. As it was maybe in the beginning where we are not even born. There was always something going on. But now we are here in the 20th century. May God bless your heart, my dear ones. And let him love you. You're precious to him. Blessings to all of you, my dear ones. This is your Pastor Yanni. Bye.